my gosh, it's such a beautiful day. Spring is sprung. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Courtney. You can call me Quartz. This is a day in my life working as a production assistant. Um, okay, cut your stuff in half. This is a pro tip. Cut your stuff in half. Save money. Live better. Um, eat fresh. Okay, you really have to be a morning person though to do this job and I am not a morning person. Um, example, here we are. <coughs> not a morning person, okay? I can't. If I didn't love my job, these these mornings would be so impossible for me. I would have no motivation to get up. Anyways, I intended for this video to be a get ready with me. Get ready with me for a day in my life as a production assistant, okay? But I just thought it wasn't going to be enough content. You guys have seen my skincare routine like at least five, six times now. Brush your teeth, you dirty gremlin. So this is going to be the get ready with me portion of the video because, uh, yeah, I love my I love my get ready with me's. Okay, so I use this Dormer 2-1-1 sunscreen. Um, I put on sunscreen every day as you should be, but I love this one. Even though it's just drugstore, it's it's a bit expensive, but um, it's got hyaluronic acid. It makes my skin really dewy, especially if I use it with the right serums. Um, this is me checking my watch and realizing I'm already running late. Rare Beauty, I love this tinted moisturizer, but I think I like the NARS one just a little bit better. I don't know, I don't know what came over me, you guys. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna pat in my moisturizer today. I never do this, I never do this. I always just rub it in. So I don't know what I was thinking. Um, probably just trying to impress you. So let me know if this is impressive. It didn't impress me much because I ended up just getting frustrated and smearing some more on my face anyways. I'm really into this nude sticks at the moment. Nude sticks, they're like marketed so that you can use it on your face like as an eye eyeshadow and like a lipstick. But I never use it for that. I just, it's, it's a nice creamy blush. Vegan, cruelty-free, creamy blush. Pat, pat, pat. Feather that in, girly. It works. We got the e.l.f. pen. I've been so lazy with my eyebrows lately. I'm not kidding. I'm working on something, a new technique for the brows. I haven't decided which direction we're going with them yet. But I know I'm, I'm very lazy and I have bangs, so it doesn't really matter at this time. Okay, Murray's Pomade, Grandpa Murray's, is the best thing ever. It smells so good. It smells like a divine, femininely masculine woman. I don't know. It's just... It's great, and it works really well for that slicked back, Bella Hadid, bun, ponytail look, whatever you're going for. I love it so much. Drugstore special. I always lay out my clothes the night before I have a shoot because there's no way I can process a thought at 5 in the morning. So I finish getting ready, and I toss on the clothes that I've prepared, and whether I like them or not, I am leaving the house in them. <laughs> um, fit check. Okay, and then the, the vest is the thing that completes the film girly look. I, can, I, I promise you. Hi, good morning. Oh God, it's so dark out still. Six o'clock on the dot. I'm running late. I really wanted to take you guys on a tour of exactly how much setup goes into film. So for commercials, we often rent out like people's houses and um, there's websites that you can do this on if you're interested. I can leave links, but basically the locations crew comes in the day before and we cardboard and we lay rugs and we protect all of the things and surfaces that could possibly encounter any damage. So this kitchen has been decorated by our set deck team. Same with this little dining area and the curtains, like everything, top to bottom is is set deck. Um, the living room, I think some of it is the homeowners, um, but mostly 
art department comes in and sets everything up the day or two before and it's all prepared and literally any corner that we're not using to film in gets cluttered with gear and equipment <laughs> but we save little areas for certain departments for them to do their work in and little stashes up those stairs for people to keep their gear in but basically we just protect as much as we can and make sure that everything's ready to go before the crew arrives yeah You thought I brought you food? The morning was chaos. So first of all, as you know, at this point I, I was running late. I literally arrived to set exactly on time. I thought this would be the perfect day to film a day in my life on set because we're doing a we're doing a pre-light day, which is basically when the entire crew gets together to rehearse and light the scene so that on the day, which is like, if you don't know, a film term to say when we actually are filming, you say like on the day. Well, on the day, we're ready to just have everything roll out and be smooth sailing because this is a food commercial and there's a lot of food prep involved and food styling and we need to make sure the food looks hot and steamy and delicious and so that's something that we needed a day to rehearse for which is why we're doing this pre-light but usually pre-lights are like very chill especially for locations we're just like we put up the tent we put out the rug everything's pretty much done and we hang out and help them when they need us but that did not happen today no 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 that was crazy, crazy morning. It's only 10 a.m. It feels like it should be three in the afternoon. As soon as I got to set this morning, production manager is like, we need to get everything out of here. And he's like moving shit and we're running and hauling absolute ass. <laughs> so it was a bit sweaty to start. And so now I'm supposed to be on set, but because it's so chill, my ALM, my location manager, my boss, was like, can you please go to Staples for me and print some stuff off and hand out some letters to another job that he has to do next week. So he has me going to Staples. He's having me print off some signs and drop them off in the neighborhood that he's shooting at next week so that everybody in that neighborhood knows that there's gonna be filming. My intention was for this to be like a fun little like we're hanging out on set in a chill pre-light day vlog, but instead it's chaos. Welcome to the chaos of the film industry. Everything can change in a second and things change all the time and that's the way she goes. Okay, but I'm actually really stoked because if you haven't seen my video on the menu, you should watch it. Apparently the director of this commercial, she was like the f second unit cinematographer for the menu starring Ray Fiennes and Anya Taylor-Joy. I'm like, low key, I'm like, I want to talk to her, but I don't want to be weird, you know? Basically, I just have a whole cul-de-sac of homes to send these out to. Sometimes there's people that bring their dogs to work. And Quinn is my favorite. He, he's the one I see most often. So I feel like we've really like cultivated a relationship. And I've taken him on walks a couple of times like as, as a production assistant. I'll just like go over and be like, can I take him out? <laughs> and the Alex crew is happy to have me take him and entertain him. But I feel like it would have been so nice to have him with me right now because we're just walking around a neighborhood. It'd be so nice if I was able to have Quinn with me walking around this neighborhood, which is actually hilarious because the last time we were shooting literally in this neighborhood, there was like there's like a house like literally just around the corner that we were filming at. And I was walking Quinn in this exact block. <laughs> the last, I think that was the last time we shot together too. We worked together.
take a picture of this cherry blossom for you guys and he is not having it. <laughs> He's like, because I pulled out my phone and it wasn't cookies. But look, gorgeous. It is spring. It is spring, Quinn. He doesn't care. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's it, that's my day. I'm leaving early, which is so nice, like five, two and a half hours early so that I can go to this family dinner, which is gonna be nice. I always forget to film my, my lunch and my breakfast because I just go to Crafty and immediately wolf it down. Um, so <laughs> maybe there will be more food footage in the next one, but <laughs> this time, Nah, I love my job. I love the people that I get to see in commercials. It's so nice because it's a lot of the time the same crew. If you like this authentic day in the life of a film girly production assistant locations version, feel free to subscribe. Like this video. It helps me out so much. I also am looking for more friends because since the pandemic, I feel really isolated from like everyone in the world. So please leave me a nice comment. Um, tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I really wanted to do a step count for today. 23,279 steps. Ay, ay. I, like to I like to count my steps on these days. Okay, bye.